In less than 10 minutes, we can create this data entry form in Microsoft Access. Let me show you how. Let's start by launching Microsoft Access. This is the welcome screen we see when we open Microsoft Access. To open a new file, in other words, to create a new database, click on Blank Database. Type in a name for the database. Demo. Note that the new file or the new database will be saved in this location. If you want to change the location, click on this button. Use this dialog to select the location of the file. I will select the folder called Avengers in the desktop of my computer. OK. Create. See a new access file called Demo has been created in the selected location. .accdb is the file extension used for Microsoft Access database files. In the navigation pane on the left side, you can see a table named Table 1. When we create a new file in Microsoft Excel, a worksheet named Sheet 1 is created by default. Similarly, when we create a new database in Microsoft Access, a table called Table 1 is created automatically. What we see here is the datasheet view of Table 1. Datasheet view can be used to view, enter and edit data in a table or query. Now to define the fields of this table, Table Fields, View, Select Design View, a new dialog called Save As will appear. You can rename this table if you want to. I will use the name Candidate Details. OK. As you can see, the table has been renamed to Candidate Details. What you see here is the design view of the table called Candidate Details. Now let's define the fields for this table. First column will be Serial Number. Type in the column name, Serial Number. Press the Enter key. To assign the data type for this column, click on this arrow. A list of available data types is shown here. Short text, long text, number, date or time, currency. If you are planning to enter text in this column, select short text or long text. To enter numeric values, select the number data type. Date or time for storing dates. And if you want the numbers to increment automatically with each new record, select the auto number data type. I will select auto number for this column. Next column is registration ID. Enter. We will use this column to enter text. Next column is first name. Enter. If the number of characters expected in a column is less than 255, use the short text data type. For entries with characters more than 255, use long text. Usually first names are between 6 to 16 characters long, so I will go for the short text data type. Last name, date of birth. This column is meant to store dates. We'll select the date or time data type. Next column is gender. In the column called gender, we are expecting one of the three values from male, female and other. To set up a drop down list with these three options in the column called gender, look up wizard. I will type in the values that I want. Next. Here we have to create a list of values expected in the column called gender. Male, tab, female, tab, other. Next. Finish. Next column is address, city, state, email id. To automatically turn the email ids in this column into clickable links, select hyperlink as the data type. Next we need an option to upload the picture of the candidate. Picture. Select the data type called Attachment. We have defined the fields and assigned data types for the table named Candidate Details. To save the table, right click on this document tab, Save. Now for the datasheet view of this table, right click, Datasheet view. These are the fields we created using the design view. In the gender column, we have a drop down list with three options, male, female and other. And in the date of birth column, 
we have a date picker that allows us to easily select a date from a calendar. Like I mentioned earlier, Datasheet view can be used to enter data into the table. But our goal here is to create a data entry form to make the process simpler and more user friendly. To create a data entry form, go to the Create tab, Form Wizard. The table candidate details is automatically selected, and these are the fields of the selected table. In order to display all these fields on the data entry form, click on this button. Next, column now. Next, use this input box to name the data entry form. Feel free to use any name you like. Modify the form's design. Finish. Microsoft Access has created a data entry form using the fields of the table called Candidate Details. Labels are displayed on the left side of the form with their corresponding input fields on the right. The size of the labels and the input boxes can be adjusted to suit our requirements. Let's select the labels. These objects can be resized by dragging the control handles around them. To change the font color, Home. We'll apply black color. Bold format. Increase font size. Next, we will resize the corresponding input boxes. This label called picture is not required, so I will delete it and move this object to the top portion of this form. Note that you can use arrow keys on your keyboard to move objects on the data entry form. Let's make some minor adjustments to the heading. What you see here is the design view of the data entry form. For switching to form view, right click, save, right click, form view. Back to design view. To change the background color of the form, right click, fill color, pick the color you need. Now to change the font, select the objects on the data entry form, home, select the required font. Click on the square on the top left corner of this workspace, other, Pop up, yes. Right click, save, close this document tab. Now, when I click on this item called data entry form on the navigation pane, the data entry form will appear as a pop up window. Right click, design view. Next, we will add command buttons to the form which will allow us to add, save, and delete records. In the form design tab, select button. Record operations, add new record, next, select text, type in new, finish. Let me resize the button, again, record operations, save record, next, text, save, finish. Once again, delete record, next, 
delete, finish. Add click, save, add click, form view. Now we will use this data entry form to add information to the database. Since we have used the auto number data type for the serial number column, this field will be populated automatically. So let's start with the registration ID. First name, last name, date of birth, gender, mail, at the address, city, state, email id, to upload the photo, add, select the photo, open, ok. To save these details as a record, save. To add a new record, new, registration id, first name, last name, date of birth, gender, address, city, state, email id, add the photo, ok, save, close the data entry form, click on refresh all in the home tab, the information we typed into the data entry form is added to the table called candidate details. First name, last name, date of birth, gender, address, city, state, email id and picture. To see the picture, double click here, open. As I mentioned earlier, we can also add data to the table using the data sheet view. First name, last name, date of birth, gender, address, city, state, email id, To upload the picture, add, select the photo, open, ok. To save this data, right click, save, open the data entry form, first record, click on this button for next record, second record, third record, the record which we created using the data sheet view. In the next video, I will show you how to import data into Microsoft Access from an Excel file. Thank you for watching and wish you a great day.